Today's the first day of the fall semester for Georgia's flagship institution, the University of Georgia. And despite a rise in COVID-19 cases in the Athens area, campus operations are basically right back to normal. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm reports right now the focus is on getting more students vaccinated. On this first day of UGA's fall semester, sophomore Caroline Newton says it almost feels like she's starting her freshman year. Most of my classes and most of everybody's classes were online, so it's like the first time everybody's going to like all in-person classes. It's pretty fantastic. We're back on campus in uh, full capacity, so uh, it's a very exciting time to be a Georgia Bulldog. Alessio Griffin is starting his senior year. He and others do worry that with COVID-19 cases on the rise again, that the campus could shut down again. I mean, I am concerned, but I am vaccinated myself and I will wear a mask around my uh, classmates to protect them and especially the faculty uh, who have family at home. Masks are not required in UGA classrooms and vaccinations are not mandatory at the moment. We know that community-wide and statewide and nationwide that among the most under-vaccinated portions of the population are young people the 18 to 30 year old population. Athens Mayor Kelly Gertz tells me that's why the consolidated Athens Clark County government is working on an incentive program for UGA students and anybody else in town, $100 gift cards for each COVID shot. Bring your little brother, bring your cousin. A little bit more of incentive if there already wasn't one. Well, I do think that that would get at least some of the college students, you know, broke college students to do it because that's a lot of money for us. The mayor tells me the vaccine incentive program won approval last night. He says the health department plans to get it going September 1st. In Athens, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Thanks, Rebecca.